congratulations on being ready to give your client their Cutco gift. We've put together a quick video with four tips on how to communicate the value of that gift to your client and what they can get out of it. You've come this far in your gifting journey to find the perfect gift. Make sure you take the next few minutes to learn how to maximize the impact at the moment you give it. The gift comes in this white box. I know it looks perfect and clean, but it's not the best way to showcase your gift. Take off the white sleeve. That was just a protective covering for, that we use in the mail. It's better if they can see the logo first right when they open it up. Take off the lid. Inside, you're gonna find some information on Cutco. The fact that we've been around since 1949, we're an American company, we have a forever guarantee. This is all stuff you want them to see, but it doesn't look the best in the box. My suggestion is take it out, fold it, and put it in the card you give them with the gift. If you're not giving it a card, it's okay. Fold it over and have it just covering the handles, but the best way of using that is to put it in the card. Next, take off the protective covers that come over the blades in the mail. This is to protect them from smudging or scratching while we're shipping them, but they don't look great for presentation. You wanna carefully slide them off and then hide them behind the gray insert that comes in the box. Just lift it up, stick them underneath. It's better for them to be able to have the first thing they see be the reflective surface that's beautiful and of course your engraving which was the whole point. Next, make sure you take out this insert with the penny and the poem on it. A few people have a tradition about giving coins when you give knives as a gift. Not everyone will be familiar with this tradition, but everyone thinks this poem is cute and it makes a really nice touch. So take it out, stick it underneath the blade, and put the lid back on. Then find the package with the cute little ribbons with the elastic attached. It's really easy to take one of these and on the shorter gifts, you can put it on the upper left hand uh, corner of the package and stretch the elastic all the way down to the lower right hand corner. On a longer box like this one, you're going to want to just wrap it around twice up here on one end. Situate the bow and bam, it looks awesome. Your gift looks great. You're ready to go to closing, looking good. Number two, enthusiasm. There's a big difference between, hey, here's your Cutco gift, hope you like it, and showing a little bit of genuine enthusiasm. Smile really big and be sure to share any personal stories you have about Cutco. If you've had it in your family for a long time or you've used it, talk about what is your favorite piece and what you use it for. Sharing that genuine personalization makes a big difference in helping the client understand why you chose this gift, especially for them. Number three, materials. We emailed you some follow-up materials that are really easy to use in your gifts. The first email says, click on the picture of the gift you gave and it brings you to a Google document. There you'll find what we call a product letter. It just highlights the features and benefits of the specific gift that you chose to give. For instance, it highlights what the spreader is for, that you can use it for peanut butter, mayonnaise, cream cheese, that it has a cutting edge, that it can also be used as a spatula to serve and get under the first slice of pie without crumbling it. For someone who's not familiar with that piece, it's great to have a visual reminder of all the things you told them you use it for, and it's great to have something to reference back to. Also, you can personalize it. Put your letterhead at the top and your signature at the bottom. If you don't want to do that yourself, just email me at cutcogiftslindsay at gmail.com and my staff will do it for you. Number four, your script. It makes a big difference what you say to the client when you give the gift. So we put together a script that's super easy to use. It's basically this. Hey. Thanks for working with me. Thanks for choosing me as your agent. I wanted to get you something to show I appreciated you. You might wonder why I didn't get you a bottle of wine to celebrate or a gift card to do some work on the house. I thought about those things, but they don't last. And I wanted to get you something so you could remember me forever. I also wanted you to remember that I'm at your fingertips whenever you need me, just like this knife will be. Follow this up with the personal stories that you have about using Cutco, and it'll really help your client understand why you chose this gift just for them.
We all know that closing is a really crazy time for everyone. Some clients will be very distracted by the fact that they just want their keys or their check and they want to get out of there. Plus, showing gratitude is a skill. Some clients will jump up and down and cry tears of joy that you were generous enough to give them Cutco. Other people will just say, thanks, in kind of an offhanded and unappreciative way. We all know people who we could hand the keys to a Mercedes and they would say, hmm, thanks, but you got me the wrong color. <laughs> so my tip is don't focus on your client's reaction. Focus instead on your systematic plan, your strategy to give everyone Cutco a forever branded gift that they can use every single day for the next 100 years. Like any marketing, it's a numbers game. And as we also know in life, the more you give, the more you will get. So stick to your strategy and make sure you're using our four tips to maximize the gift and you'll do great. By the way, a great bonus tip that we heard from many agents was don't even bring the gift to closing. Make a plan instead to swing by and give it to the clients later when things have all settled down. Make sure you communicate that to your client. At closing, say, hey, I special ordered you something. I'll be bringing it by when you guys are all settled in and things aren't so crazy. That gives you some extra chance to get an extra touch, some more face-to-face -face time, and it's a great time to ask more referrals. Regardless of how you do it, remember, focus on your gift-giving strategy, and you'll always have made a sharp decision. Have fun giving your gifts out.